Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some really cool news that's happened in the past couple days, actually, it even, it, it says it just here three days ago, actually. Um, <laughs> we're talking about Ren DGB and liquidity mining using one inch. So this is pretty cool. This is part of Digibyte's participation in the broader DeFi ecosystem that we're seeing evolving. Uh, this is really quite exciting here. So there are steps, like step-by-step -step instructions here in this particular guide if you want to get involved with this. Uh, it's actually like really cool. We've got some great photos. So thank you to the We Are Digibyte account, I believe it is, yeah, for putting this together because this is fantastic for those people who want to participate in this kind of thing. Now, if you go over to one inch here, I've gone and zoomed in, made it really big. Uh, we can see that there is currently just shy of a million dollars uh, worth of Ren DGB being staked as part of this. So. Like that's a that's a decent chunk of money. That's a lot of people that are effectively putting that up um, for this particular yields. So I think that's actually really really exciting to see just how much this is already taking off in the last couple of days alone. Really excited about the future here. Speaking of excited about the future, I've covered this a lot specifically about this new development era, so I won't go into it too much more. However, what I do want to say here is that. Uh, Yoshi has gone and created a, a monolithic test executor, uh, which basically just kind of pulls all of the different bits and pieces here. He's closed this as of 10 hours ago because all of these have been approved, which is great. So we've gone and had uh, GTO90 has gone and reviewed them. Uh, Gary as well has reviewed them. So we can see here, um, I just want to give a bit of a shout out. So Barry submitted a few, GTO90 as well, some of these things. Uh, Yoshi's been working super duper hard here. So huge shout out to Yoshi. Thank you so much for all of your probably blood, sweat, and tears at this point, because I know that there's a lot that's gone into it. But this is so cool to see. I'm so excited that this is now all happy and all working and... Yeah, it's great. So what we've got here is a really solid foundation now where we can go hand on heart and say, yes, the Digibyte blockchain matches and it and it passes not just the tests, but the code works like we expect it to. So that's really quite cool here as well. Um, so you can see just for a bit of an example here, he's gone through and he's um, fixed up this. This is wallet tests. Um, you can see it's all in one individual pull. Uh, I'm mistaken. There's two of them. Um, he requests review. Um, so Digi Contributor and GTO90 have gone and reviewed them, uh, left some comments on it, acknowledged, and then it's merged. So down the bottom here it says merged into the develop branch. What does this all mean? Well, long story short, the built-in unit tests now work as intended. Uh, so previously where there was a lot of errors and things like that, um, you can see here I've actually just run them. I'm rerunning it again. It uh, takes around about just under five minutes on my machine here. So yeah, uh, we've got 293 test cases built in that we all match and succeed and pass, which is super cool. What I'm really looking forward to in the future is having more of these built specifically for the Digibyte uniqueness as well. That's going to be super awesome. But on top of this as well, we're now working on continuous integration. Now, what does continuous integration mean? Very good question. I like that you've asked it. What means is that when we get a pull request, can I go, I'll go back here. When we get one of these pull requests, continuous integration is going to automatically grab that pull request, grab the code, check it, test it out, does it build at the very least, and make sure that we're not wasting the time of the other developers on what might have been like a left out semicolon or something along those lines. So that's really quite cool. I'm really excited about that. That's going to be the next phase for Digibyte. And I can't wait to keep you all updated. So have I gone through? Yeah, we've gone and put all of those in. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. Just wanted to keep you up to date with what's going on there. Stay tuned because I'm going to talk a little bit more about continuous integration, the next steps for Digibyte. Some of the ideas that we've got around something before Digibyte version 8, just talking with the developers about what we can be doing there as well. However, hit the like button, subscribe, share this. Hey, we can see it's just finished. Th 4 minutes 38. Right on. <laughs> You can reach out to me in the comment section down below if you do have any questions. I'm on Twitter at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.